हेलो एवरीवन यू आर आर वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1072 एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ लीव्स कर्लिंग ऑफ पेपे एंड टमाटोस व्हिच आई हैव नोटिस दैट इट इज वेरी वेरी कॉमन दिस लीव ट्विस्टिंग एंड लीव कर्लिंग Uh, pepe that is tata sai in local language in borno state we call it and tomatoes is very very common and actually the reason of curling of the leaves there are, is a type of disease and there are three factors first factor is that is the attack of the pest and insects and second factor is that is viral disease due to viral attack and third one is that is environmental factor so here in uh, borno state what i have noticed when they are planting the tomatoes and uh, pepe uh, the leaves are curled and the two conditions of curling is there in the leaves either upper or lower that is i mean downward or upward direction the curl will be there so if it is the leaves of the uh, pepe or tomatoes is upward then it is uh, due to the particular insect that is helps attack and if in case uh the curling is to downside or twisting towards downside then it can be due to mite or mite is the brother of we can say a spider so a spider and mite attack may be there but in case the whole plant growth is check and all the leaves are twisted curl upward and downward direction the flowers are falling the fruits are not Uh, growing it means it is a total viral disease and there is viral attack on those two vegetables that is pepe and uh, tomatoes and the third one is uh, that if in case there is lot of heat so dehydration is there and because of dehydration also the curling is possible so in that condition if enough water is given that uh, curling will be and normal but in case if it is viral or if it is uh, bacterial or insect or pest attack then we have to treat them so that uh, this disease is over for example i am showing you i have taken one branch here this branch all the leaves uh, this is a pepe uh, branch so all the leaves are curling is to upward side upward direction all the leaves are curled and if it is downward so that is uh, uh, might or herb so this type of curling is due to these insects and the insects what they are doing they are releasing some of the uh, liquid on the surface <coughs> while they are sucking the uh leaf uh, material and in that case the photosynthesis of which is done by leaf is disturbed and that's why such type of twisting and curling is uh, there <coughs> so in that case we have to go for uh chemical treatment and the very safe organic uh chemicals i am going to give their structure and their uh, name and how to use in order to uh get away or we can say to treat or to uh make the plants free of such type of uh, disease so here these three factors are given the first one is that is pets like aph aphids and thrips thrips is very common in borno state is a cylindrical type of 
uh, insect with uh, wings and it is uh, uh, having five to six thousand species in Borneo state and they are very common and their attack uh, is everywhere. So here is specifically the thrips and mites. Mites I call them the brother of or younger brother of uh, spider. They are very common and these two uh, type of pests and insects they are attacking and that's why the uh, tomatoes and pepper uh, leaves are curled and of course though uh, because of that disturbance they are sucking uh, their uh, material uh, chlorophyll and all those from leaves that's why upper and lower uh, type of uh, curl is there and I have already told you that if the upper side of the leaf is curled that is because of uh, thrips uh, attack and if it is lower side Curl is there, then it is the attack by mice, and both are very common in uh, Borneo state. So that is, uh, and the, that is uh, aphids, thrips, mites, and white flies causes leaf curl in pepe and tomato plants because of their feeding on leaf. And when they are feeding on leaf, the photosynthesis of uh, leaf is uh, retarded, is checked, is disturbed and because of that disturbance the leaves they are twisted and they are curled. Number two that is environmental factor. In the case of environmental factor sometimes uh, there is lot of heat, there is drastic weather change and in that weather change if for four or five days there is lot of heat which is very common in uh, Northern Nigeria in Bondo state, Karno, Bauchi, because here temperature may go up, up to 40 or 40 plus. And if for 4-5 or five days water is not given, there will be curling of the leaves or twisting of the leaves. So in that case, if uh, during midday, if enough water is given, so that water will make all the tissues of the plant hydrated, they will be cool and immediately the curling and twisting of the leaf will be over. So that is environmental factor. If the leaves curl is due to environmental heat, then adding extra water during the middle day that is keeps plant tissue hydrated and cool can help to overcome the curling of the leaves. And number three, viral attack. Viral attack, I have already told you the whole plant growth is retarded, falling of the fruit and even the flower flowering and the whole plant leaves are curled and twisted if you notice only few one two immediately you uproot and throw it away and if there are many then we should go for uh, treatment so the viral disease can cause the curling of the leaves whole plant growth is retarded symptoms of yellow spots on leaves uh, rings are bull eyes on leaves. Uh, insects also carry uh, viral agents. Insects which are coming and attacking, especially the thrips, they also carry the agents, that is viral agent. And when all the leaves of the plant, a uh, skull and growth of the plant is not normal, it indicates that the plant plantation, whether it is uh, paper or uh, tomatoes are suffering from viral disease or viral attack. So here I have given four very very popular insecticide, pesticide, all they are covering all type of insects and even they are taking care of some uh, viral attack also. So the first one that is called Imida cloprid. So Imida cloprid that is having 17.8% in package 
and it is in liquid form and this is your imida propriet and here actually it is uh, pyridine uh, nucleus so it is uh, under the group of that is called neo nicotinoid so neo nicotinoid is a type of uh, uh, insecticide uh, the molecular formula is C9H10CLN5O2 and if you are using in a small quantity you just add 1 ml in 1 liter of water but if it is the crop is in uh, acres then for 1 acre you have to add 200 ml in 200 liter of water and spray and this uh, your uh, imida colloprid uh will be coming in different trade names but you have to see the main constituent it must be mentioned that it contains 17% of uh imida propriet and this is the structure the second one is which is very very common to use for uh paper and tomatoes uh, leaf curling disease that is called thaya methoxam so the thiamethoxam uh, is a sulfur compound and it is applicable for all type of insects and pests is very effective and it is used it is in uh, solid form 100 g in 200 liter of water for one acre and this is the structure of your uh, thiamethoxam and the formula is c8 S10 Cl N5O3S. Thaya stands for uh, sulfur. Then number three, that is uh, dimethoate is a type of ester, and it is available in 30% uh, preparation, and it is organophosphate uh, insecticide, and it is a type of ester. It acts both as contact and ingestion absorb and disturb the uh, thorough plant tissues and it is used 1 ml in 1 liter of water or you can see if it is 200 liter of the water you have to add 200 ml of uh, this dimethoate and this is the formula of structure of dimethoate and the formula is that is C5H12N O3 P S2 and the number four is that is also very uh, important widely used that is called fipronil and that fipronil is having the concentration up to 80 percent that what it is available in the market uh, and that is about 40 gram if we have to add it is 40 gram in 200 liter and uh, it belongs to phenyl parazol uh, chemical family and it can damage the nervous system of all insect and uh, parasite so these are all very very important for organo uh, pesticides and they are very effective and uh, definitely once you are going to buy in the market maybe you are if you are checking uh, online uh, they might be having some different trade names their commercial name their marketing strategy but these constituents the formula i have given it must contain there first one that insecticide for the treatment of the curling of the leaves must contain imida chloroplit uh, or thiamethoxam or diethonate or uh, phenyl and this ones here nitrogen is there pyridine nucleus is there so that's why they are also known as uh, that is a new uh, nicotinoid group they are belonging to new nicotinoid uh, group so these are all very very important uh, chemicals organic compounds and if uh, the crop is treated once you notice that it has started or curling is going on then you can spray and it will be 100% uh, recovered
So with this I will stop and it is my advice to all the farmers who are uh, cultivating the pepe and tomatoes. I, I know that in Borno state is very common uh, these uh, two vegetables. Please remember all these uh, insecticides, pesticides, those four which I have mentioned, they are very powerful, very effective and of course they are organic. So you, you, you should not expect much uh, harm or problem by using these chemicals, the organic ones. Once again, thank you very much for watching the lecture.